Don't you just love a double feature day? I love a double feature day. Squeaky left shoe. I dress for the occasion. Let's go watch Mean Girls. I didn't think I would be excited about this, but I'm actually very excited. Let's go. All right, let's talk about it. So that was Mean Girls, directed by Samantha Jane and Arturo Perez Jr. Stars Anne Gallery Rice, Renee Rapp, uh, The Girl from Moana, Pam from The Office, uh, Jaquel Spivey, um, Tina Fey, the man who played the principal in the first movie, and a whole bunch of other people. We all know Mean Girls, correct? Okay, nothing much is different. There's a lot of the same dialogue, a lot of the same jokes, just, you know, different faces. So so the story is the same. We don't have to rehash that, correct? Oh God, I just did the math. Cause I remember seeing the 2004 one in theaters. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so this is not a remake of the 2004 movie. Like the color purple, this is the film adaptation of the stage musical. So yes, this is a musical. This is the third musical I have seen in theaters in less than a month. I, I don't think that's normal or natural. Yeah, Wonka, Color Purple, and now this one. I am not a fan of musicals. Like, I don't mind them, but like, I'm not gonna, you know, jump up and down and go see a musical. But I feel like after the last month, I can do anything. I've done so much over the last two months. I've conquered my fear of subtitles. I've seen three musicals. 2024 is gonna be amazing. So how does this compare to the original film? I've never seen the musical, but you know, obviously we've all seen the movie. So everyone's going to be comparing it to the original movie, right? We're all going to be comparing character to character and all that jazz. I wouldn't do that. It's been 20 years. Times are different. Cell phones look different. Like they have cell phones. I don't think they had cell phones in the first one. Probably not because we didn't really have cell phones. Do not hit my car. I will honk at you. Bro, are you a student driver? Like what's the problem? I am trying to review a movie what was I saying? Comparison is inevitable. There's no getting away from it. But don't go into this movie expecting an exact remake of the 2004 movie. You're going to be disappointed if that's what you're looking for. I can't speak to how well this works as a adaptation of a stage musical. That's not really my forte. But I, I can say a few things about this as a film. Is it perfect? No. Is it spectacular? Is it amazing? Is it a masterpiece? Nah. Most of the songs are largely forgettable and the acting is not, you know, award worthy or anything. But what makes this movie work is the fact that it doesn't take itself seriously. It's good fun. That was fun. I would watch this again because it's just good cinematic fun. I laughed out loud. And there's a nostalgia factor here because there were certain little little intricacies, little details about that first movie that I've largely forgotten. It's been a minute since I've watched it that they redo here. It's it's fun to see that those things that were so early 2000s, they still work on screen, if that makes sense. The movie rushes a little bit, I think, but I think that has more to do with me being familiar with the story. I think if I had never seen the original Mean Girls movie, I wouldn't have thought it was rushed. But I'm familiar with the sequence of events. So it, it felt a little like they were rushing through some things for me. Mm. It's a campy mess of a movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's good cinematic fun. There are definitely some imperfections here. I'm not sure how I feel about, you know, Katie Heron, this Katie Heron. She was a little too mild for me. In comparison to everyone else, everyone else was so over the top and very theatrical. And she was just very cinematic, if that makes sense. But I guess that kind of makes sense, though, because she's the new girl from 
Africa who's been homeschooled, doesn't have much of a social life, doesn't understand social settings or social cues. She's still figuring it out. And she's dropped in this environment that already has its own culture, its own vibe, its own way of doing things. And everyone's kind of going with that flow and she's figuring out what that looks like. So, you know, her, her mildness makes sense. However, comma, Renee Rapp, who plays Regina George, I love her. I'm obsessed with her. One of the most iconic film characters in the last 30 years. And she figured it out. She figured out how to, the balance of something old and something new. How to honor what Rachel McAdams did while creating her own character. She figured it out. And Homegirl can sing. She has incredible presence. Like, I am obsessed with her. But Jaquel Spivey, who plays, da that's a cat, who plays Damien, oh, he stole the show. I was a little worried about him because from the trailers, he just seemed really cheesy. But no, he is excellent. He's so good. He's so gifted. He steals the whole movie. Like, he is the life of the party here. Him and Renee Rapp, I love them so much. I like them. I would love to watch that again in a full theater. I feel like this is one of those movies that requires a full theater to get the whole experience. But yeah, it's a fun mess of a movie. It's hilarious. They did such a good job, though. Great job.